In today's show, we have a story on Mr. Stauffer, a story on the fall play, a stand-up with Miss Ermley, and a story about Senior Service Day. I'm Jessica. I'm Caitlin, and this is your SVTV News. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. We have a new teacher story on Mr. Stoffer. Mr. Stoffer is a new intro to theater, tech, and English teacher. We want to see what he's all about. Um, I was very involved in high school and I had a good time uh, in the shows and the theater classes at high school and I continue on to college and really like theater and working with kids. He's got some big plans for his classes. Uh, plans to get kids up on stage and performing. Uh, that would be for my acting class and intro to theater. Uh, building lots of sets and different uh, buildings for our tech class and lots of cleaning of the theater. And for English class Lots of American literature. Um, happy to be right here at Seaman. If you're interested in being in theater at all, come talk to me because we're always open to new faces. Mr. Stoffer seems like he's a great fit to Seaman High School. Strawberry Sweet Tea, the Kansas City Chiefs, Forrest Gump. I like uh, catfish nuggets, P people being rude to you. Make sure to give him a Viking welcome. Jessica, have you heard about the fall play? Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. I haven't. Let's go check more about it. Seaman High School is putting on a fall play called Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, I picked this play because I thought it'd be recognizable from the TV show uh, back the, way back when. And I think it would connect good with the rural community here at, uh, in Topeka, in the Seaman area. And it just has some really good characters in it. They have been working hard with practices every day after school. Uh, we started working on it around early like September. And we've been working on it since, and the tech classes have been working on it since the beginning of the school year. Uh, we've been working really hard in it, and I think it's going to be a great show. The set is massive and very impressive, so people would be excited about that. I've been doing theater for eight years, and so I decided why not do a play here. I'd done it in middle school, and I just felt like to continue to pursue my, pursue my theater career. Make sure to go to the play. I can't wait to go see it. It looks really good. Now over to Jessica with our sports announcement. Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens' developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a teen who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. The Beverly Hillbillies. Come see the Beverly Hillbillies on November 16th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Five dollars at the door. Better get a front row seat. What's up, guys? It's your guy, Elias Mosier here, and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like, go touchdown bowl, man. Like, get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. Winter sports start next week. Have your physical and concussion form on file before you try out. Also, if you have athletic trainer equipment, it needs to be returned. 
Wellness Night is tonight. We went to go learn more about it with Allie. Hey Bikes, I'm here with Miss Emily to talk about the Wellness Night. So when is it? Tonight, the Wellness Night is from 6.30 to 8 at Seaman Middle School. It will be inside at their gym and in the commons area, so we will not be canceled for weather. So if you're a PE student that needs a PE makeup, this is your last opportunity for this semester to get that in. So you'll get two credits if you come and sign in at 6.30 and then stay till 8. Awesome. Make sure and go to that. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to go to Wellness Night. Now over to Caitlin with our weather. Good afternoon, bikes. Today we'll be in the 40s and tonight will get pretty chilly. And for your three-day forecast, it will get a lot warmer. Do you know about the Senior Service Day? No, I don't really know much about it. It's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Recently, a senior seminar went to Harvester's Food Bank to volunteer their time for Senior Service Day. So my seminar went down to Harvester's, which is a uh, food security organization. So we went down and the first thing we did was uh, we cut bags, which they use for packing fruit. And I can't remember how many we, we cut and tied, but it was a lot. Um, and then the second job that we did was we worked a line to pack food bags. Basically what we're doing here is cutting bags and then we're going to help um, put food into little book bags for children who don't have uh, a lot of food when they go home. Both students and Mr. Dingus believe that this service day is beneficial to them. I think this is important for us to learn that there are others less fortunate than us and to help out the community in ways that we normally wouldn't outside of service day. I think there's hopefully a sense of gratification that they did something good for the community and made a, a tangible difference. I also think that it, it really just builds community with our seminar too. Um, we've been together for three years and um, everybody knows each other pretty well and it was just nice to be able to uh, do something together that senior year and uh, have that experience that just I think brings our seminar closer together. Too. In the end, Mr. Dingus would like to continue this senior service day for years to come. It looks like they all had a great time. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.